Hello, welcome back. It's Trisha here from Passive Income today and I want to talk about marketing funnels. When I speak to new people who are getting ready to have an online business, they hear this phrase called a funnel and they ask me, what is this Trisha? What does it mean? I'm hearing it everywhere. A marketing funnel is a widely used phrase and there's lots of different ways to learn about how it works. But really, it's just talking about the customer journey. I found this article online from a, a website called skyword.com because it had a really good article here. I'll put the link below in the lesson, but it has a really good image as well. And let me just scroll down to show you um, what it is about this particular funnel that will help you understand in the marketing space. So no matter what type of service you're doing, no matter if you're becoming an affiliate marketer or you're creating content or products and you're selling it, a funnel is going to exist in every type of e-commerce space. The, the difference might be the amount of steps in your funnel. And this is not something that you build and you put on a website. This is just a process like a journey. So think of it as a journey that a customer will go through. And let's talk about this from the top of funnel, middle of funnel to the bottom of funnel and what each step means and why it's important to understand it. When you understand three, these three areas of the funnel, you will be able to create content for each section that takes your customer on the journey to the end part of making a transaction with you. So the very first part, the top of funnel. The top of funnel is all about creating awareness. So just imagine you're walking along a street and you decide to build a new pop-up shop. That new pop-up shop has just started and nobody knows who you are. But in the neighborhood, you want people who are local to know about you and become aware of your existence. This is the top of funnel. This is the very first point of interaction with your customer. The top of funnel is all about building trust and awareness. And it's where you provide information about the services and what you can do to help people. It's also about where you talk about solving a problem and providing a solution. So when you're thinking about content for the awareness part, the top of the funnel, you're really not, you're not selling anything here. You're simply letting people know what you do and how you can help them. For example, on Passive Income Today on YouTube, I help people. The main brand awareness that I'm creating is I'll help you come up with ideas to make passive income. And with those ideas, you'll have some information to determine whether or not you want to go ahead with it. As we go through the passive income journey and the, the funnel that goes with that, the very first step is becoming aware that these ideas exist and passive income exists. And the second, the middle journey will be being presented with some potential solutions and what they could look like. And the last part of the journey, this is a very simplified explanation. The last part of the journey is making a decision about what you want and deciding whether you will purchase a product to make that happen. So as you can see, no matter what type of business, whether you're a consultant, a coach, you're a product creator, an affiliate, your customers will go through this journey. Now you will also find that some customers will be in your space already and they might be in the middle of the funnel because they're already, perhaps for example, on YouTube, I have some subscribers and they are already in my awareness phase, the next part for me to do is provide them with some further education, some ideas and potential solutions in the middle of the funnel. From there, I would like to push them through to the bottom of the funnel to make a decision to purchase a product that suits their needs. So each piece of content that I create for a YouTube channel will either be top of funnel, creating awareness, solving a problem, just giving that general information. Hey, I'm here, I can help you. Middle of funnel, now that you're in my space and you know me and we're building trust, then this is some of the things that I can do to help you. You're starting to make decisions. The bottom of funnel will be where you make a decision to make a purchase. A really good example of this on my YouTube channel at Passive Income Today is a video called How to Make YouTube Videos Using Canva. Now, people who have no idea who I am will find that video simply because of the keywords and phrases and things they're looking for. They'll find that on YouTube and now they're becoming aware of who I am. So they're at the top of the funnel. They'll go through that video, they'll learn a skill and they go, hey, this person's really cool. I really like them. I'm going to subscribe or I really like that video that was helpful. I'm going to do the next task that I have to do in Canva. 
once they've become aware and they've been hanging around that top of funnel, um, the second part will start to form and that's when they might be looking on the channel for more specific videos to help them solve their problems. And that's where they might look at videos um, like this one about learning about the funnel. Um, they might join one of my free courses and, and just start to you know, get embedded into what we call passive income today. And the very last step, and it's not that everything stops here, it's just like it's a point of a changeover, I guess you could say. When they go through the bottom of the funnel, they might make a purchase. Now that's a commitment from the customer to myself that they would like to do business with me in some way. So they could purchase a product, they could purchase a course, they could purchase a product that I review and recommend, or even so they could take access, take advantage of one of the courses that I provide, making that transaction. And that starts to solidify the relationship. Now, a lot of online marketers, um, there's two different types of online marketers, ones that nurture the customer after that initial transaction at the bottom of the funnel. And that's a really important thing to do. And then there are other people who say, I've got the sale, cool, I'm on my way, I'm done and keep going. It's a lot easier to look after the audience that you have and provide great service than it is to attract a new person to the top of your funnel. So if you ever are looking at any of my product reviews, especially the high ticket items where I'm showing you things like Commissionable and the 100K Alliance, what you'll notice is that my aftercare nurture sequence is really important for the consumer as well as myself. And I make myself available to help them whilst they're transitioning into that new product. So have a think about how this might work for you when you're online and creating products and what kind of um, extra service can you provide in your nurture sequence after the first or second transaction. It's really important to continue to deliver at a high standard and provide good quality service. Remember, it's not about how many subscribers you have, but how well engaged they are and how well they respond to you. I hope you found this video really helpful. As I mentioned before, I'm going to put a link below to this article so you can take a closer look at it. Thank you and I'll have a great day.